and hello there everyone, Osage Orange here, and welcome to another episode of Titan Quest, The Loot Grind. We are here on episode number 179 of this series. Do appreciate everybody who has come out. I hope that your guys' time zone, whichever your guys' time zone is, is most wunderbar. So, on the agenda for today, we're going to be taking a break from doing our usual grinding with Imhotep. We're going to be doing some fun with Lord and Lady Grind. Because, um, I'm trying to get the, uh, the stuff for, uh, that, um, the, uh, Freya's Panoply set has been, shall we say, a huge pain in the posterior. So, that is why... I figured uh, we could uh, go ahead here and do uh, let's see. All right. Okay, Lady Gran, she is they are set to give you tribute points, so the mausoleum, you went in great warrior. You have done us a true service. There we go. So, come back over here to Lady Grind and get her pendant here chucked over to Lord Grind. Oh, we might hold on to that thing. Let's, see. Let's take a look see here. Both of those are pretty decent, so uh, probably hold on to those for future use. Okay, we are both we're doing good, so um let's what go ahead you here. Part with? Be with me. So long. See that? I know I did. Oh wait. Oh I'm thinking of a totally different thing. I'm thinking of a totally different thing. <laughs> Typical tree. So Let's go ahead here. What? Yeah. Totally and utterly. There it is. <laughs> like, Why carry what here? you can put sun and wind on your back, not in your eyes? Just quickly uh, bring Lady Grind down the way here. Let her explore on down. Should be, she should, in theory, at least be safe there. So uh, that way we can make sure that uh, she has gotten her rebirth hunt and stuff. Like I said, I know that we could... Uh, um, not have to worry about her believe those fountains and all that. But, uh, quite honestly, I don't mind doing it. As per usual, we will have to uh, make sure that uh, when it comes time to do the actual grinding with Lord and Lady Grind, um, we will uh, go for. Sorcerer. 
care if you have a seer staff of intellect. Sure she is. Really gonna try to run all the way around, mount shield, and just say hi. Gonna worry about uh, completing the uh, general's quest right here. We're gonna make it uh, relatively safe enough for Lady Grind to be brought out and uh, to uh, quickly get her into the quest. Once I was a powerful general, caught up in the illusion of life. Then I was disgraced by my failure to stop the monsters. I resolved to come here to reflect upon my own nature. Having no need for weapons or armor, I threw all I had deep into a cave near here. Mystery and knowledge are born of the same source. Darkness. Darkness is born of darkness. The mother of all things. That white cat decided he wanted to come in, so quickly uh, do Lady Grand here so she can make sure she talks to the general here. Have her portal back. I want to leave her, uh, leave her exposed to where I can't defend her. Like I said, it's it's a lot easier just to run one character and not have to worry about two. It's up to two. So uh, we'll have uh, both of them do each of their do their own things uh, differently at the time. Have to worry about doing all the side quest stuff all at once. Just so long as we do the main quest stuff, that is. That is the important bit. Hello! Oh! Look at, look at how they're glitching out like that! Uh, 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 uh. <sighs> Glitching out all the same way. Let me lay Oh, that's right. I kind of forgot about that. We can't lure some of these dragonians off. One or two of them, at least. Just gotta love it when baddies. You're trying to get work your way around baddies, and they just say, "Yeah, we're gonna smite you, son." <sighs> I 
like, what did you do? Let's drag a couple of them off. And, uh, have them tuck to my swords. All these guys drug off. Come on! Come on! Well, there's one down. Come on! Got another one there. Move, 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 move. Ah. Stupid hero baddie that's. Ah. Hate this. Where you know you wish you could genuinely, you know, run, be able to handle two computer, you know, doing two simultaneous operations at once on your, uh, you know, on my laptop and here on the main rig. But it's a case of for me, you know, it's you know you're trying to analyze all that information. You can only handle so much input. This time we should be able to get our grave back. Hopefully. Hit. There we go. These two fire talents taken care of. This, you jerky McJerk face. Excuse me, but it felt good. Excuse me, but it also felt good. Come on, attack! I'm telling you to attack, and you're not attacking. inconvenient at times when you're just trying to do, you know, the clicky clicky spam 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 click and there's an acknowledged signal. Come on! Come on!
good. Come, stranger. We have some good things for you today. Fortune follow you. Okay. Now we get some lady grind over here, so we will first drop our portal right there. A Taoist mage of great power lived by himself in the Jinghe Valley, not far from Shiyun. He used to visit us for news and rice on every new move. The mage was peaceful. He disliked violence and discord. Though he lived simply, he was rumored to possess many treasures. The mage was peaceful. He disliked violence and discord. Though he lived simply, he was rumored to possess many treasures. Lady Grand is now, of course, parked over here by the rebirth fountain. That's him right there. Thank you, gone, gone. Come on. Stop showing off with your stave there, dude. earned yourself a uh, visit from a true hero. I am a hero. I'm strong and I gotta be strong. It's gotta be fast. <laughs> yep, you know, that reminds me of um, in uh, Shrek 2, uh, um, how the fairy godmother, uh, does her little, uh, um, thing there for, uh, I need a hero, and, uh, of course she's trying to get, she and, uh, Charming are trying to get, uh, we got two of them! There we go. 
I'm sad. You know, and they're trying to have a uh, Fiona get uh, she um, the king and uh, Fiona uh, are charming all trying to get uh, Fiona to fall in love with charming and all that. And Shrek is of course doing his thing. Might have to go up here and um, do a good look-see here, uh, probably at the end of the episode, to um, do the um, not even going to give me a chance to get myself worked up. How are you there, Mr. Talon? Uh, idiot patties. This is why I dislike it when we might just have to restart the server guys well um let's leg it come on tree you can do it leg it We got some of our stuff here back. Take that, jerky McJerk face. All right. Oh. Trying to get myself set up here. Well, we can bring over Lady Grind. Okay, let's uh, let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and take Lady. Take Lady Grind off the server. We're currently in level 62 with 424 based. Weapon, uh, 424 based armor. So let's go ahead here. And we'll quickly pull up the vault. The vault, the vault, the vault. Oh, we got stuff all set up here so we got collection alpha uh, for magical and physical gun that sets reset to uh, alpha beta so um, let's see here to no head armor for uh, the abysmal set Cylon Blonde Reeves, that's less. 52. Let's see here. Four sixty. What was that better on the uh, what's it there? Four is less, 328. Talking to the queen. Right. 288, that's going to be less.
bit sloshed than we got. This game, we're gonna have to go about choosing the um, the um, best we kind of got. Last. Look like we were going to do the seal of Hephaestus. We could make that work if we combine it with the greaves of the Nemean line. So, what was the, uh, let's see, how much is that worth? 328. Well, let's see here. Um, quickly. Put the stuff here in the transfer area. Put the um, magic stuff. Yep, there we go. All right. So before we have Lady Grind join back into the. Um, ever rejoin the server. Enough. We'll make sure that we don't need to go through and modify anything. We'll go ahead and start up the server. Plan. Start it up. That way we can be set to... Uh... Oh. oh, this will actually work. This will actually work. I, I, I done goofed. I done goofed. Uh, let's see. Hades Roads. All right, well, I guess I'm going to have to really make sure I reset the server now. <laughs> A fine day to ease your burden. Okay, so. Let's see here. So this first. The... Decant our current equipment set. Okay, so we have Mark of Aries. Okay, we need to hold on to the Captain's Signet. That is a hold on to. Gosh darn. Okay. Real hero, my caravan. Store your goods or oh, shoot them off. Okay, let's 
let's see here. Let's quickly and order. reset to the correct difficulty. Epic. So, let's see here. Okay, let's, uh, go here to Chang An. Why carry what you can't put down? I'm going to go a whole ahead, and these, since these guys are kind of good in each in their own way, we'll hold on to these two. Now, here's what we're going to try to do. Let's see here. With our current setup, the only thing that we really lack in terms of resistances is that vitality resistance. Others uh, here are at least zero or they have a set. So, what I'm going to do here. Oh, oh boy. I just shot myself in the boots. I just shot myself in the boots. Let's, um, just going to go ahead and keep this equipment on. Looks like the, um, it's very, very comparable. There's a little bit better in terms of the poison and some of the other stuff here. But on the whole, it looks like it's fairly comparable. So I think what we'll do is we'll do the Nemean Lion set. I think that will be the better bang for our buck sort of thing. Don't get me wrong, there are some benefits to what we had. And in some ways it was some better, but I think what we'll do is we'll just hold on to the uh, stuff we had. We'll do it the setup the way we had. So we'll go ahead and make sure to put these guys here into storage. We'll sort of separate them out by sets. Toro. How could you pass up such a staff as this? Or have you seen the craftsmanship on this bracelet? By now! Uh -huh. A caravan is like memory uh, that never forgets. So long, noble hero.
let's get um, a little grind back out here. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we'll summon up Lady Grind. Come on, Lady Grind. Land. Join. It's weird. I don't see uh, an art tap here. Should be able to hopefully see on her end. See land. There we go. Now we see it. Now we see it on her side. Mm. There we go. So now. We should be in a far, far better capability for um, stuff, so. Oh yeah, we're definitely far better now. Got, got that pierce resistance up, fire resistance up. My movement speed is also up. That's always a good thing. Here to uh, the um, to the uh, one uh, side quest over here with the Taoist Mage. Be on this again. It's fast. Oh, speed for oh for a slow weapon. We're actually attacking pretty fast with it. Causing a fair amount of damage too.
I should say, those were mages. Kind of got me thinking of, I've only read the series once, and, um... Come on. But, um... It's the, um... Um... Draconis Memoria series by Anthony Ryan. I'm Portal stone right quick so we can bring in Lady Grimes so she can get her due. Come on. Let her crack open the stuff. We'll have her quickly head back to the Jade Palace portal. So she can talk to the uh, soldier guy. Of thouest ma the mage was peace the mage was peaceful. He did Oh, I guess that's that. Oh. I forgot to get those two superior potions right there, but don't worry. I'm not gonna worry. Just quickly, uh having a lady grind there spam those uh Tiger men. Around the corner there. The ones uh, to the, you know, that were on the opposite corner there where you would come in from Chang'an. But, um, uh, let's see. Where is that? Where did I put that? Um, let's get. That's, that's not it. That's not it. Uh, oh, oh, uh, oh, yep, yep, there it is. There it is. Yeah, Anthony Ryan's The Waking Fire. The first uh, of a um, trilogy. Book one of the Draconis Memoria series. And basically, uh, let's see. As is my policy of late last number of years i tend whenever you know you know if i know that somebody's a be a good arthur arthur author um um i'll try to you know um you know I'll generally buy a book series by them so um the series that i've been currently been reading almost finally done with it is the um belisarius series by D david uh drake and eric flint I've read a number of Eric Flint's collaboration material with uh, David Weber, so I knew that he was a good author, and I've, en I've enjoyed the series. I've been enjoying the series. But um, Anthony Ryan, I hadn't read any of his stuff, so before I went out and bought the rest of the series, I just happened to find um, a um, 
I don't know if it was. I know that I think I found this at some point. And then I finally broke down at a secondhand bookstore and finally bought the copy I'm holding here in one twig hat. So, in one set of twigs. But, um, let's see here. The people that, uh, um, um, who tend to follow in this series, um, are Liz and, uh, Dramatis Personae, I'm here at the end of the book, are, uh, that we tend to follow our, our main characters, if you will, uh, are Liz and Lethridge. Trying to find, uh, yeah. Um, trying to find uh, all the characters here. Yeah. I think it's a uh, Cora Kill Elamore here. Then uh, Clayton, Tor Creek, and I don't remember who it was. Another character or two in there. There's like four characters that are in this series that are our protagonist points of view. And, um,. They come from different backgrounds. Each has their own motivations and all that. But, um, let me read you the back, back uh, blurb here on the back, um, on the back cover. The vast lands, throughout the vast lands controlled by the tri Iron Ship Trading Syndicate, nothing is more prized than the blood of Drake's which can bestow fearsome powers on the rare blood blessed. But not many know the truth. The lines of Drake's are weakening. If they fail, war with the neighboring Coventine Empire will follow swiftly. The Syndicate's last hope uh, resides in the whispers of his distant, far more powerful breed of Drake, and the few have been chosen by fate to seek it. A petty thief, an unregistered blood blessed, a formidable spy, an assassin, and a second lieutenant of an iron ship cruiser. As lives and empires clash and intertwine, the unknown and, an, and the known collide. And all three must fight to, to turn the tide of a coming war or drown in its wake. You know, three. Uh, I think there, and there's a couple other characters that show up in the series, so, that are important POV characters, so... I'll make sure to leave a link in the description to the uh, to the site. Uh, to I think he's got a website. So um, excuse me, but it felt good. It's been a while since I read it. So, uh, The series that I'm next planning on picking up, I haven't found, um, at least on the Barnes & Noble website, so since I got a Barnes & Noble nook, um, um, I haven't uh, found it there, but I might be, I might have to go elsewhere, but, um, if there might be ebooks elsewhere of it is the the blending and the blending and thrones series by sharon green the first uh part of the series the blending the first series the blending five book series i haven't read it in the better part of, oh i haven't read it in like over 10 years or something like that in a long time in a very very long time 
open up a portal here for Lady Grind. But yeah, I haven't read the series in a long time. And I've been, it's one of those ones that I've done, at least tried to do at least some poking around for an ebook series or an ebook version of the series. And um, let's quickly get. Uh, Why, yes, stranger. You are now Shi Yu is named for the white clouds that cover its peak. There are many legends regarding that mysterious height. But um, basically, it's um, uh, let's see. I'm trying to remember the characters' names. It's Jovi, Lorand, Tamrissa, Clarion, and um, Naval Captain. Um, Earth user, right? Um, Valiant. I think it's his last name. Captain Valiant. I'm forgetting his first name, though. But basically, the, the empire that they live in uh, is corrupt and decadent and is at war with its neighbors. And once every quarter century... Um, um, there's basically, uh, there's, you know, there's the nobility, there's basically two classes, you know, the, the nobility and the commoners. And so basically the, um, every 25 years, uh, the commoners and the nobility have to put five, uh, put together teams of adepts. Which number five uh, that each have a specialization of magic, which is earth, fire, air, water, and spirit. And when they, when these five individuals combine their talents, they are able. They they have blended. They're able to blend their magic. And you know each uh, each person will have his or her own. Strengths and weaknesses, and you know, obviously, you know, different, you know, every Earth user is going to be somewhat different from every other Earth user, every different, every different fire user is going to be different from another, you know, everybody's going to have their strengths and weaknesses, but, um, and even, you know, once a team has blended, they're what's called, as I remember, called an entity. Uh, even their entity, even different teams in their entity form, will have strengths and weaknesses. That will, there, you know, there. Some of the teammates will be able to, of course, you know, compensate for others' weaknesses, while other, while other way, in other ways, they are able to, you know, be weaker as a team in some ways, stronger as a team, etc., etc., etc. Oh no, no, no. But yeah, each, uh, but on the whole, they will be together stronger as a team. And so, uh, in the series, in the, in the blending, um, you know, like I said, the, their, their empire has been, I forget the name of the empire, off the top of my canopy. But, uh, they are, it's corrupt, and, uh, and, um, and all that sort of th stuff, you know, that's, there's corruption, there's, uh, uh, there's, um, you know, people are going to do their stuff and all that, and so, um, um, God, I'm trying to remember the captain's name. I honestly need to go through, and I'm, I've been pulling books off and taking a look at some of the stuff I've got. I need to, <clears throat> excuse me. I need to do some reorganization here. I'm going to go ahead here and let's hop Lady Grind here ahead. So as that uh, we can have her help out Lord Grind. Should we need it? Because of course we have, uh, what's his face here? The boar. The demon boar.
Jam. I, was like, I, was, I was like, I just heard the talisman there. But uh, yeah, they basically have to go through the, um, you know, it's, it's like been um, this, the current form of this, their empire has been in existence for like uh, about 300 years. And, um, basically the nobility has been rigging the system for like the last century or something like that to where their teams will always win. You know, it's people wanting to be in power and all that. And so, um, they basically have to work their way through the traps and goings on of, um, the nobility and they get separated when it, when they're gonna win and one of their neighboring powers starts to invade as a result of their of our hero's empire doing bad things to them you know you know you know it's you know it's uh poking uh you know poking a stick at a at a tiger and you know through a cage and you know the tiger is finally rawr, 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 coming back at him so let's go ahead quickly here so Let's quickly go and speak to the Yellow Emperor. Worthy traveler. Well, in my youth, I was one of the warriors who fought beside the gods against the Titan. The gods chained this. Hurry! The Titan servant kneel. Let me quickly do that. Okay. And so, of course, our heroes managed to. Um, Managed to win, defeat the invading forces, and put the nobles in their place, and um, and all that. So, um, and then in the blending enthroned series, they have to deal. It's um, like I said, I haven't read this. I'm not remembering all the details because, like I said, I haven't read this series in years. But uh, in the sequel series trilogy. They have to deal with their neighbor, not not just the neighbors that they had that invaded them, but the neighbor, the other neighboring empire, which is having its own squabbles and all that. And then they have to deal with more forces that are coming down onto the continent that these three powers reside on, and then they have to do all of that. So, any of you guys, let's go ahead here. Let's take a quick break. Everybody go and stand up, stretch, get something to eat, get something to drink, and use the restroom. We'll see y'all here in a few minutes.
Okay, guys, Trey is back. I did uh, just root out the um, the um, the first novel here of uh, the blending series, uh, Convergence. Um, uh, let's see. It's uh, here on the back cover. It says, "In a world of magical adepts, every quarter century, the five greatest talents must be brought together." For only in this powerful union of strangers can prevent the prophesied return of the evil ones who once enslaved the land. Lorand is of earth, a simple farmer called to the city. Tamrissa is fire, sacrificing her home to escape an undesired marriage. Clarion is heir, an aristocrat flying free for the first time. Spirit is the talent of Jovi, the the beautiful, sensuous, and knowing ex-courtesan, and valiant is Water, a sailor who aches to return to the sea. As one, they must stand against the odious treachery of past masters and confront some with uh, confront a fear front a fearsome depravity that hungers for their world. As one, they must triumph, or as one, they must die. And I did remember, remember Valiant's name, so. <laughs> Irony! But, um, I have to make sure to, like I said, it's whatever reason, I might, I'm going to have to do a little bit more digging. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a series I haven't, like I said, haven't read for some time, so. Surprised I can even remember as much of the series as I can, or at least the basic plot. The basic, um, um, uh, parts of the plot. That's, um, that's one of the things, too, is that each in their own way, uh, our characters are very intelligent. One thing I remember about Lorand is that, you know, he's no, uh, is that he is no country bumpkin, you know, the, the stereotype of, you know, you live out the country, you're a country bumpkin. Lorand is not that, from what I remember, is, uh, is that each, each of our protagonists is, um, in their own way is very intelligent. And, uh, And, uh, you know, that would be, you know, to call Lorand an insult. Uh, a country bumpkin is an insult. Come on. Watchers. Especially when I myself am a short ranged infantryman. Joker, but uh, you, you. It's, um, this is uh, Tama and Valiant, who are, of course, you know, it's you know they're polar opposites, you know, and both in uh, element, you know, Tama is fire, Valiant is water. Um, and they're not them. They are pure opposites, not only in um, their adept nature, but um, but also in personality. Is that they're all, they're always butting heads, especially at early on in the series. Sort of, they sort of start mellowing out in the later parts of the series as uh, you can't carry any pressure. You know, helps them. Warm bonds and all that. Yeah, that's one of the uh, goings on in this series is that um, the um, our heroes realize that um, has d discovered that. Um, I'm surprised I even remember this itty bitty little detail. Um, 
revealed that um, intimacy, physical intimacy, it helps helps team members out. And so that's one of the things that happens is that uh, I think it's Jovi's, as I remember it. Um, that have, you know they they make they they make talk they're making talk you know it's like in their first couple weeks together or sometime hey, within or even Is even the first Nibble? week I uh, think that never forgets that uh, you know she says uh, essentially you know they discover it's like hey physical intimacy helps teammates out you know helps the bond between teammates not just the um, physical slant. Emotional bonds, but the actual magical bonds, too. They're able to, uh, you know, it's sort of like uh, having, you know, with uh, when you got, uh, you know, gears on, say, a car, you know, um, or, you know, your sis pistons within your uh, cylinder, with your, within your engine block, you know, they're... The sun and wind at your back, not in your eyes. Fine arms, firm armor, fit for the Emperor's guard. See what suits you. Uh, you know, they're often, you know, bored. Cylinders are often bored within, you know, thousands, if not tens of thousands of an inch to be able to fit perfectly within a cylinder block. It's that same sort of premise. Let's see. Fortune. Yeah, it's that same sort of uh, premise as that uh, the um, the characters they are far more able to get along with one another, and their bond working together is enhanced. Of course. Um, you know, it's uh, Tama and Lorand, Jovi, uh, Tama and Jovi, blah, 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 that are a thing. Um, Valiant and Tama that are a thing. And so initially, Clarion is sort of the uh, the odd guy out, but he finds uh, he find, I'm um, I'm trying to remember her name. I don't remember it. But he finds a, a partner who is, um, she's more or less described for most of the series, it's described as the equivalent of, um, of a null. So that, that, that she doesn't have her, for whatever reason, she doesn't have any, you know, one of the five specialities, you know, earth, wind, fire, water, spirit. Later turns out that she is part of a group that actually has a sixth speciality sight and she's actually uh, able to blend with her she's the for a time she's the unofficial sixth teammate of this blending of our protagonist and it's eventually revealed at the end of the series that she's been helping them in more than one way and she becomes a part of their team it's actually six people not just five that um can be a blending and that this group of gnolls have been, you know, been waiting for a time, for the right time to reveal themselves and hopefully get integrated into society. Of course, with uh, the sight magic being a thing, it's a thing. have a caravan driver out here for uh, yeah because I don't remember this uh, the, this dame's name off the top of my canopy like I said it's it's unfortunately one of those uh, little uh, details that uh, you know unfortunately have forgotten So 
it's, it's been sitting here on my bookshelf for, for years, and I've been meaning to pick it up, but I just keep getting distracted either rereading other series that, uh, you know, a new book's come out, or, or I find a new book series, and it's like, oh, I want to read this. That sort of thing. Or I've been, you know, been having to deal with work in one form or another, and, uh, yeah, it's one of those things, you know, I've been having to deal with that, and I've just uh, been meaning to reread it, and all that. Go ahead here, get... Lady Gron down here, there she is. Please, warrior, you must help. Something terrible has happened. Lao Jun's charm has broken. The monsters are all around her. Please help. There's that. Like I could, I could tell this tiger man. I was like, that chakram there looks like it's sexy, and guess what? It's sexy. I have never been so terrified. I broke the enchantment. I didn't mean to. Suddenly, I was surrounded by... I will explain, good wolf. For hundreds of years... I was terrified. For so long, I had known peace and safety. Suddenly, every shadow was filled with danger. Oh... How can I live here with my sisters? Go ahead here, what have we'll, I done? Uh, oh, stranger, you save the thing when the spring rains come. When the cherry blossoms fall, we are so grateful, stranger, that you saved our sister, Ru Zhao. She stumbled from the way. She is subject now to the laws of life and death. But now, perhaps, remember, the true way is like water. It benefits all and asks no reward.
make sure I got the loot picked up. Having a momentary brain fart there on the way we needed to go. Duh. <laughs> Yarrows! Yarrows! Spirit Master, your spirit god. Sure, don't get any uh I feel all the guys that are up here too. Just a quick defense measure. Got a little bit of extra grind in one here. Mountain Strider. Seeing the eagle eye there, that's got me thinking of, um, um, not only has that got me thinking about uh, Kai from uh, Valkyria Chronicles 4, but also, um, from uh, the first Independence Day film, and um, yeah. how the um, when the um, city destroyers are you know entering of uh, Earth's planetary atmosphere, you know they've been deployed from the mothership and are uh, on their uh, various courses to their first. Um, attack points um, one of the scouting I forget what type of aircraft it is specifically uh, but it's, uh, some, it's some sort of US reconnaissance craft level up level up level up but uh, uh, they're, uh, I think it's uh, the one approaching uh, Los Angeles um, the city destroyer approaching Los Angeles, and, uh, those uh, two guys right there to that, um, so the pilot goes, this is Eagle Eye, 370, and, uh, uh General Gray, uh, uh, you know, the pilots say, hey, tell the president what you just told me. And then, uh, of course, they, uh, because of the way the uh, city destroyer has been entering the atmosphere and all that, it's, the, you know, it looks like some, like some sort of, you know, slow meteorite. And, um, The 
course, uh, the, uh, the pilot, the cr aircraft is then found to be, uh, uh, on approach to, um, a, um, city destroyer and, uh, you know, the clouds start clearing a little bit. Oh, hello. And, um, so they, uh, clouds, you know, thin, and then they realize that they're, they're going, oh, no, we're running straight for a thing! You know, and as they see this wall of flame right in front of them. So, uh, you know, it's, it's like, you know, they start to realize that, you know, there's very much something going on here, and it is not humanoid. It is obviously, you know, it's not us, it's obviously alien, you know, it's happening all over the world, you know. This thing, guys. You found the Jade Palace? Amazing. You are truly an epic hero, worthy of all the poets. It was thought that the Yellow Emperor was just a legend. No one living had ever seen him. Wu Sao Mountain is not far from here. Find the gate that leads to the forest of the ancients. Beyond the forest, I hope you will find the Titan's prison. Wait, before you go, I know I did not treat you well when we first met, despite saving me from humiliating imprisonment. I am truly sorry. After all you have done, I am glad to have known you. Please do not let the deaths of our brethren be in vain. All my hopes and the hopes of all humanity go with you. A gate in Chang'an opens onto the forest of the ancients. Beyond others will sing of your deeds, but I will remember you as you are now, and how lucky I was to meet you. to do a little bit of stretching there, so. All right, hopefully uh, things will be better now. Of course, um, when I got to uh, eight years ago, when I got to, uh, or just over eight years ago, I got to see with one of my coworkers this time, we went to see uh, Went to see um, Independence Day Resurgence. The forest of the ancients lie. Go ahead. Go ahead. Open the gate. Um, in some ways, it doesn't hold stand up to the sequel. I mean, uh, to the original. Blah, blah, blah. The sequel doesn't stand up to the original. Um, as I have said before, don't get me wrong, having, um, um, having Judd Hirsch and Brett Spinner in it, you know, it does offer in some ways some continuity between the two films. But, um, me personally, having them uh, be as, in as much of the film as they were, um, I don't think that it was the smartest idea to have them play such, quite the roles that they did. You know, they were, um... They f contributed far more, and the f both of them contributed far more, each in their own way, to the first film than they did in the second. In some ways, they, as I've always kind of thought, they were kind of filler. Oops. So, not to say that, um... 
they couldn't have helped. It's just that I've always kind of felt that they needed to be less, uh, they needed to do more of passing the torch, you know, the metaphorical torch. That is uh, just my opinion. Sort of have um, maybe um, 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 maybe for Brett Spinner, actually, you know, his character, Doctor Oak, can actually have him die instead of going into a coma. And. Uh, And, uh, but come on, come on, that cord gets, gets around my trunk like that and tries to get tangled in the chair. But maybe have, um, but maybe have something kind of like what happens with, um, Dylan, uh, her son, by another man. Of course, he was the adopted son of Captain Hiller, who died in, uh, in between films, you know. So they couldn't get Will Smith to come back because he was too expensive. And in some ways, I've always thought that was kind of sad, is that uh, they couldn't get him in for the second film. Excuse me, it felt good. Uh, like I said, uh, kind of sad in my opinion. If I were able to, uh, you know, offer, you know, a uh, critique of the plot, you know, I would, I would essentially kind of have, um, oh, hello, have a hero there. We don't need their hero. You will be man, not man's vein. But, um, my sort of idea would be to have sort of what happened to, um, uh, Vivica Fox's character, uh, Jasmine, have her, um, have her, uh, probably I would say, Maybe happen to, you know, have some sort of thing where maybe in one of the attacks they, uh, you know, uh, maybe in one of the attacks uh, they both get uh, Oaken and, uh, <sighs> Oaken and, um, and, um, Julius get, um, That is not what I want. Oh, Matt, I meant, I meant to say. I meant to go to the portal. There we go. And that would have to be one of the earlier attacks. I would, I'm thinking. 
Not a late attack to help provide motivation. Well, it could be done that way. But, um... But yeah, that's, that's one of my opinions, is that uh, one and or both could uh, be helped to give motivation. To uh, the cast. Yeah, it says it just in some ways it just doesn't make sense. And if the, if not have if not having them, you know, perish. And they obviously had, uh, obviously, despite the fact, you know, they had President Whitmore be, uh, you know, be traumatized by his own experience with the Harvesters. At least he did something far more productive. He pulled a Russell Case sort of thing. I was that one of the his good lines, um, of course, uh, in the film is, uh, you know, he's got he's on the space tug and all that, and um, he goes and says, uh, you know, and he's been kept, he's got cold fusion weapons on board, and uh, uh, he says to the you know he's he's go oh, in the queen's uh, throne room. And, uh, they, um, get to, you know, he sees her and he says, you know, you know he, holds, he holds up the, what's it gun, uh, you know, shows the timer on it. And he says, you know, yeah, we got ya. We got ya. You know, she, you know, she's kind of pissed off because, like, you know, they've used the shields to entrap her personal ship. And, uh, you know, he goes, he holds up the ray, he holds up the timer gun thingy and says, from the people of Earth, Happy Fourth of July. <laughs> so, <laughs> one of the funnier little little bits of that film. Kind of cheesy, but at the same time, one of those better little bits, in my opinion. Time I would, I'm still remembering any time I would get to the, uh, the, um, sacrificial talismans, and I was like, oh my goodness, needing so much stuff to be able to level up. Sometimes I still hold on to them because, you know, why not? Bloody miracle if we can, uh, in the next just under tw 20 minutes or so, if we can get uh, through the rest of the caverns here. And, uh, ooh, one of the To, uh, be able to 
to get uh, not only to the Talking, but uh, we'll also go uh, say hi to Titan Boy. It might go a little bit long just to be able to do such. This would be one of those things is that I really should have uh, the Eternal Ward of Tartarus on, but uh, that's, that's being used by Imhotep. Let's show a tree that, uh, that uh, what was it? Thursday. Uh, he wanted to, he asked me, uh, how's it going for you on Titan Quest stuff? And I was like, well, here's what I got. He was asking me about loot stuff, so uh, I showed him some of the uh, stuff I had on Imhotep, and I was like, God, that is a, that's a freaking good looking set. I was like, yeah, it's pretty good in its own way. I thought I'd move around this corner. Yeah, I was like, I know I need to make a turn here. I'm just wasting these simple curial worms. Look at that. Some pepper baddies, I just want stuff. This is obviously getting the Nemean Lion set with the uh, Mike Tephephestus. Uh, Red Nemean Lion Hide with uh, Mike Tucker Festus. So oh, that was a good choice. That's why I got the two of the rings. So, you know, sort of match the, uh, the, um, help match, you know, having two shields and two, uh, two, um, what's it, uh, help that out, go ahead and bring Lady Grind up, the Obsidian Hawk, Stone Top, of course. Warlock, I'm gonna regret that.
rubber band in there. You have no more room. Yep. Time to go make a deposit. Don't see that. Nice to be able to get some good loot. How could you pass up such a stack as this? Or have you seen the craftsmanship on this bracelet? on your shoulders. Sun and wind are at your back, not in your eyes. Ah. All right, what we're going to do, we're going to do a legged. Go ahead here. Let's let get Lady Grind here. Basically, we are going to hop her forward right here, so as that uh, we can have uh, not only an easier time hopping back forward, but also we can just more easily get her. Uh, the uh sickle of Kronos. Oh my goodness. Uh, even on this Tolkien it's it's I'm able to wail on him. Congratulations. <laughs> Just thought of a Doctor Strange saying, you know, to Thanos, uh, Congratulations, you're a prophet. Okay, there, Mr. Telkin. You think that was easy once, I will not make it easy for you twice. I'll hold on to that one. Ooh, well, I'm 
Olympus. To Olympus. To Olympus. Let me get Lady Grand here and shuttle her down the way. I still remember, of course, under Gold Edition, how this used to be under Acts 3. a little bit longer here guys just to be able to make sure we can put Typhon in his place. Typhon game, the original game, the original game, final boss, you know. Well, uh, well, uh, a little bit tougher time with them.
let's bring Lady Grand up to this point. She will, of course, come on. She will, of course, help us out by. That's weird. Oh, I'm looking at my 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 canopy took uh, Lord Grind's HUD right there, the map, and transposed it over here. To, I was like, wait a minute, how is that? How is that reversed? <laughs> but I was like, now wait a minute. Duh. Look at the thinking here, wrong character department is duh. All right, let's uh, let's go beat the stuff out of Typhon. Even now, with the stuff I got, I am just... this we are just only have one weapon on me look at this I am just oh hello I'm just wailing on him I mean not as effectively as I oh hello jerky jerk face Zeus, king of the Olympian gods, we are eternally thankful for your aid in stopping Typhon. No one would have ever thought that a human Ooh. would defeat a titan. Like the epic there? heroes would kneel before you, and perhaps they shall. The conduit between our realms was destroyed. You have proven that men are ready to become the masters of their own fates. Your mortal world is not yet safe, but the responsibility now is yours. Go, greatest of heroes. There is much left to be done. Yeah, this puts us, of course, at a good uh, stopping point, so... No need to worry about those keys to chaos. Big temple. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. I am blind, but I see. I see a new journey awaits. Your deeds above have created strife below. You must find your way to where all men are destined. 
else many of the greatest shall be lost. Seek the sorceress of the Ixian wood. Only she can show you the way. The greatest warrior, poet. All creation stands in the balance. Find me. All creation stands in the balance. All right. Find me. Let's go ahead here. Sure, Lady Grind. Go ahead and run. Let me quickly run Lady Grind here up the way. Station. There we go. Colossus of Rhodes. Uh. Excuse me, but it felt good. Medea came to the Ixian wood near. They say Medea was jilted by the hero Jason. Meet Medea Mary the Gay. All right, we're at a good stopping here point here, dudes and dudettes. So uh, we'll go ahead here and call it an episode. So yeah, those of you watching here on the YouTubes at youtubecom Gaming, please remember to go ahead and leave a like, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon for notifications. It really does help. Make sure also follow over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash osagejoined. Yeah, I appreciate everybody who's come out, and I hope to catch y'all in the next episode. Ta-ta for now.